Are you considering surgery for a cystocele or prolapsed bladder? I'm the Kegel Queen. I'm a registered nurse and my name is Alice Adams. I want to talk with you a little bit about why surgery may not be the best choice, or it's certainly not the first choice, and what some of the alternatives are. So why not surgery? Simply, surgery is dangerous and it usually, you can't count on it working well. Uh, there's a failure rate with prolapse repair surgery up to 50%. 30% of women who have prolapse surgery will have another prolapse surgery. And the surgery is dangerous. You have an up to one in six rate of complications. And some of those complications are things like ongoing chronic pain for the rest of your life. I've heard from women who suffer for this, from this, and it, it just, it breaks my heart. And frankly, it makes me mad because often doctors tell women surgery is your only option, and it's really not. Doctors maybe just don't know what the alternatives are. So the other thing about surgery, like, let's get real about surgery for a minute. Do you really want tools like this being used in your body anywhere, especially in your vagina? If you possibly can avoid surgery, you want to avoid it. So my recommendation, and you can find out more about avoiding surgery at my website, kegelqueen.com. Let's talk a little bit about some of the alternatives, just a little bit. Again, go to my website, there will be more. So one thing that can really help with, pro, with prolapse, with your prolapse bladder, is Arvigo therapy. So this is a very gentle, traditional massage to the outside of the body. You have your underwear on, they're not reaching in your vagina or anything. This is something that is a traditional Mayan healing technique that's been brought to the US a couple of decades ago. And that can really help. The whole point of Arvigo therapy is to reposition organs that have shifted out of their proper place, which of course, that's what vaginal prolapse is. So that is one possibility. Another possibility for cystocele is to wear a pessary. Now I have a few samples of pessaries here. Um, there are lots of different sizes and shapes, so I'll just show you a few of them. So we have these, they're all different ones for all different, uh, different things. This one's a cube pessary. There are different shapes and sizes. Most of them are on the less, um, you know, this is, these are kind of some of the ones that are bigger, most, whoops, um, most of them are more of this type of design where they just sit kind of at the top of the vagina like a diaphragm. They help hold your pelvic organs in place. And the great thing about pessaries, they're not perfect. They have uh, some potential risk, um, but it's totally reversible. Unlike surgery, if you develop a problem with a pessary, which most women don't develop any health problems, you have to maintain it, you have to take care of it properly. That's uh, another video, hopefully we'll talk about that. But if, you, if the pessary isn't working out for you, you just take it out. Surgery, you can never undo. So a pessary, when they're working properly and they're fitted correctly, it's like there's no prolapse anymore. Uh, so it can really, really change women's lives. Another thing you can do to help with prolapse is Kegel exercises. Now, of course, you know I'm the Kegel queen. I'm a big fan of Kegels. But here's the thing. Kegel exercises have to be done correctly because if you aren't doing Kegels right, which is like 99% of women, I hope you heard that, 99% of women think they're doing Kegels, but they're not doing them correctly at all. If you're doing effective Kegels, completely safe, 
completely, completely, completely safe. And they can really, really help with repositioning your prolapse. And uh, we could talk about that in another video of the ways that works. But for many, many women, uh, Kegels can really improve prolapse. For some women, they say the prolapse goes away completely. Um, I am one of the women who has been tremendously helped by Kegels. And um, I had, uh, after my daughter was born, I had the most horrible, not as bad as some women have, but I had very unpleasant prolapse symptoms. I felt like every step I took felt like I had to pee. I felt like my pelvic organs were going to fall out, like there was a bouncy trampoline between my legs, and every step I took was like, whoa, whoa. Very unpleasant sensations. Uh, I also had incontinence. I had um, stress incontinence, the sneeze pee, and I had problems with sex. And Kegels totally solved all those problems for me. So I'm a huge, huge fan of Kegels. And to find out more about Cystocele and how Kegel exercises can help you, please visit kegelqueen.com. I'm the Kegel Queen, and I'm here to help. <laughs>